fun. You're live. Wow. Tell me Hello. when to start the timer. Sure. So, before we restart, hello, I'm Torrent, and this is Bedlam from 2015. And quickly, I want to point out that a lot of stuff will go on during run, especially at the beginning, and I will try to explain everything during this 35 minutes. So, some things will be quite disturbing for you. And one more thing to point out before, every time you will see uh, start menu on the screen, it means that uh, my window is out of focus to make one special trick, but I will talk about this later. So I'm ready, I will do a countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. So as I mentioned before, it's Bedlam from 2015, uh, it's a video game that nobody ever heard about. Um, which is quite interesting, because the game is quite good, I really enjoyed playing it. And the speedrun is quite easy. Quite easy. So... Feel free to try it. Feel free to play it. Um, it's uh, some sort of first-person medley game. Which means that the game combines a lot of... Different first-person shooters in one title with their own um, plot on story and we done the first trick in the run it's called dialogue skip and the whole idea is that every time the game window is out of focus i can skip one sequence line so i can just overlap the whole text quickly and skip a lot of sequences and timers. And the second trick I'm doing right now it's called sticky bomb jumping, sticky bomb boosting, boost jump. And it means that I can just shoot a grenade and destroy using right mouse button and because there is no self damage in this game i can just do this every time without losing any health so right now we are in some sort of quake 2 maybe maybe some sort of unreal world and it's a domination level we need to capture three objectives on the map uh, the game has a lot of memes especially about multiplayer gaming and I don't want to spoil that much but you will see in like 10 minutes and this level is also some sort of the worst level in the game because we can soft lock and I will need to restart but I hope nothing like that will happen during marathon run right Let's see. So we killed everyone and... And... Damn. We need to kill these guys. And we did transport about quarter of a million of the media, then butchered Let's see. Is it soft lock? Yeah. Dang, it's soft lock restart level. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, load game. There were three landing beacons. No. There were three landing beacons. Okay, this one. So it's the only level where I can soft lock. I can explain why is that a thing, but sometimes if I, if you are doing this level too quickly, the bots want to spawn before um, around one captured point, but they didn't. So the game is kind of confused, and the script will just stop. Maybe this time we'll have some more luck. Okay, they, they are recapturing Alpha, which is a good sign. Let's see. 
The fuck is this game? Yeah, the game is kind of weird to watch, especially when you never saw a casual playthrough. Well, the whole story is about one girl called Heather or Athena, and she is a hot grill, but she was kidnapped in. I don't know, one company called some sort of... Yes, okay, no soft look. Some sort of... Um, I can... I don't know how it's called. I forgot the name of the company. Yeah, and we are trapped in video game universe. This is what I wanted to say. Are you like me? So, we will travel through different universes and you are, I'm pretty sure you will recognize some of the games. Okay, some dialogue skips here. You speed up a little bit. I'm playing on the lowest possible settings except for textures, so what you're seeing is high resolution textures. Kappa. And we are going to the first mini boss called Officer Lanzok, and he's the hardest boss in the game. As you can see, it's insanely hard. Bam, bam. I'm the best. Some more skips. The game is full of memes, but unfortunately, we need to skip it because that's the whole category. And it's New Game Plus not new game, which means that I have access to all weapons in the game and I have infinite ammo. This is why I can just boost everywhere and this is why I will use only one weapon for most of the time. I will actually use around three, maybe four weapons, but boost, uh, sticky bomb booster is the main one. Okay, that just leaves one more. So, one more tower to destroy. Bam, bam, bam. And we are going to teleporter. And the first meme level. It's called Pure Rocket Arena. And I will shut up for some minutes. So you can listen to the dialogues. Well, if you ain't too busy playing with the kiddies, grab yourself a rocket launcher and get your ass back here, ASAP! Prepare to fight. Okay, frag limit 15. Guess I have to hit that to get out of here. Bullshit! How? How? Come on! I hit you like 80 bazillion times, and you still don't die? Fuck! That was lag! That was lag! I remember this place. I owned in this place. Sure, it was lag. <laughs> Wait, you're a girl? Let's take the health pack. Ah, get back to playing the Sims, bitch. I had to put up with this shit when I was the only girl in a clan. I'm not putting up with it from you, wee plums. Oh, I meant me. I just respawned. That's so lame. What the fuck? I was behind the wall. Goddamn hag. <laughs> Where did you find this antique-ass fossil of a game? This game's bullshit, ah! Uh. I bet you rage quit like a champ. Oh, for... Okay, you stupid hacker. Cut it out. You I'm not a hacker. No way. No way. Okay, asshole. Tell me where you got these hacks, and maybe I won't record And don't. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's keep... All right, it's all the six-pack all-American kiddies. So, fun fact, uh, this <laughs> voiceover was made by developers' kids. So they just asked, can they do some Call of Duty realistic code lines to record? And they made it. So it was a fake multiplayer battle, pure deathmatch to 15 frags. And now we are escaping this horrible world that I really don't like. It's too chaotic. And we will move to the new one, which is more interesting. Okay, so now we need to kill all robots and enemies in this room. Otherwise we can't proceed. 
and I think two more and one more somewhere. Where are you? Here. Whoop. Um, here. Oh yeah, uh, if you are too sensitive about, I don't know, racism or something, then in three minutes something wrong will happen. So we can mute the stream for a little. <laughs> Let's <laughs> save. I need to save more. Every time I sprint around this game, I always try to do some yellow stuff. Okay, boom. And we are outside the map. It's called some sort of glitch level. And we will just switch between universes by playing these weird levels, which is full of platforming, but we will skip everything by just boost jumping, which is the best thing in this game. We can skip a lot of stuff. And we are moving to Medal of Honor slash enemy territory slash Call of Duty World War II era. Because why not? Everyone loves World War II, right? We need to pick up a key. This is a cover shooter. I think it's there for Gordy. To open this door. Bam. Done. Intruder. Open fire. So these levels are quite huge, but because I know the path. The buff is actually kind of stupid to follow. Basically, they uh, give us the key, for example, here, and the exit is on the left side of this building, because why not? But because uh, not casual players can't boost, um, then they need to go around, <laughs> which takes around 10 minutes. Some good level design here. So here is a mini boss, but we can skip everything by just going here and we loaded a trigger that skips the level. So good. And we are going to the most skill based okay, not level in the not game, fun. which is just no horror games now, horrible. Please. We just need to Somebody stack two boxes and stand on these boxes as fast as possible. This is really a matter of seconds in terms of speedrun. So if you want to take my world record, then you need to be good at boxes. And now we can skip all dialogue. And let's do some Valve stuff. Remember, don't mess with Valve. This game has worse graphics than COD. <laughs> we are running at 600 FPS. PC Master Race, baby. Yeah, the game is on Unity engine, but uh, for some reason they decided to just lower the graphics to fit the style of nostalgia. And I'm playing on window mode, so I have some input lag, which is unfortunate. So my aim maybe is not that great. And this level is quite good to do some QA sessions, so feel free to ask me anything. Because there is going to be like three minutes of waiting to just open one stupid gate. And there is nothing I can do about this. We didn't find any skip for that. Some server's maze. Every good video game need to have a level in maze, like maze. Human eye can see more than 30, yeah. <laughs> it's all fake news, man. I think you must be a gamer. You What's your favorite fun? color? Not as much as I'd like these days. Gold. But I was pretty tasty in my time. As a girl, I had to be twice as good to get happy in this gate. So this is the gate. This is the gate. It's beautiful. We need to wait two more minutes.
Who's your favorite rifle? Oh. Hmm. To be. Thirty seconds of waiting, and to be more to be more desperate, we will wait another three minutes because. Behind gate is an arena, and we need to defend ourselves for three minutes against some stupid zombies. But we will get some great music. Okay, let's go. So it's a survival. That's not a survival. Simple as that. So as I mentioned before, the game is very easy to play the speedrun. You just need to learn two consistent tricks and that's it. There is, uh, like before, there is one level where you can soft lock. But it's at the beginning of the game, so not a big deal. And there is one level that can melt your GTXs a lot. And it's coming quite soon. I will get drops to like maybe 10 FPS because of too much NPC spawning to kill me. So many health packs. Okay, no open. Uh, the game is based on a book written by Christopher someone. <laughs> I always forgot his last name. Maybe Magic remembered the name. <laughs> and there were there were some rumors that the sequel will come, but I think the company that made this game doesn't exist anymore. And there was another Bedlam game created in early 18s, right? 1985, I think. But it was uh, some sort of Fallout ripoff, so no one, no one heard about this game either. Christopher Brookmeyer, thank you. Exactly. <laughs> By the book. So the world record for this category, which is um, New Game Plus with Dialogue Skip, is I think 31 something. We had some discussion in the community about dialogue skip because it was found by accident. Okay, that's just out tapping the game, and it's the best level design in the game. Bam! Three seconds and done, and we are going to the some sort of Pac-Man 3D VR experience. We need to collect all yellow dots, and let's wait. Ay -ay -ay. Yeah. Epilepsy warning. Oops. Do, 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 do. This level is incredibly annoying to play casually without boost jumping. Because it takes like 10 minutes to collect everything. <laughs> it's so stupid. But yeah, that's the nostalgia. <laughs> Everyone loves Pac-Man, right? And 
There is a map on the ceiling so I can take a look where I need to collect dots so I can drop boost. Some next gen features, you know. Green ghost doesn't like me. Is that everything? Two more? Yeah! Done! Quite fast. And now we are going to the next mini game! Uh, which is. Guano something. Which is basically Space Invaders. And we will use for the first time Machine Gun because it's much easier. Uh, mini boss. I'm spamming right click to lower my accuracy, my recoil. Because for some reason, if I click right mouse button, the recoil will reset. Good game, I said. Yeah, good game. Um, I got a quite huge boost from the UFO. We're falling back to Calastria. Integrity and overwhelming Liberty City. I'll see you there. I'm feeling Any too. Rayman fans here? You're bailing from Rayman? Integrity are controlling the rabbits. There's thousands of them. And those little fuckers are evil, man. Okay, next universe. This time, it's gonna be... Hmm. Some sort of Hexen, maybe Blood, maybe Sacred, maybe... I don't know. Random RPG. <laughs> because why not? It's a good video game. Everyone should buy it. We need this great sword to destroy this ice cube. Ice, ice, baby. So, we need another skip here, we need to pass this gate to skip around 10 minutes uh, fight against facehuggers, which are cute animals that just need some hug. Everyone loves hugs, right? And this is the level I talked about earlier. We can drop a lot of frames here, so prepare Athena, you read? right now. <laughs> to get out the, to the, the game point. is now insanely unresponsive. And there are a lot of invisible walls, stand. so I can't just go straight edge. to the portal. I need to go the full gates. And I need to slow down on this bridge, otherwise I can just die in next level, because my momentum will carry on to the next level. Oh, like this one. Um, so, except this soft leg at the beginning is a quite good run. Let's save. And we are going to command and conquer slash MOBA slash Warcraft slash... I don't know. <laughs> Something. Who are you? Why can't move? Uh, Put me down. We can't move no. right now. This I is why I'm boosting. Don't. Because yes. the game has a sequence and there was a huge invisible wall. But we passed it. Don't. Jesus. Okay, we are quite close. I am so now we need to reach teleporter. Yes. And we need to restart checkpoint to get momentum and we can move again and unlock our movement. So header is a very, very good woman. She has unlimited sprint and stuff. And what is next? I think we are going to Halo. Yeah. So it's the biggest level in the game, but we will skip everything. Almost everything. Hello? Anybody else here? Hello? 
see it. Halo. That's pretty, I'll see that. Whoop. That's safe. You've got a bit of an staff there. I'm just still going to be honest. Shit. We lost the spawn points in sector three. Everybody I don't like this lever, to be honest. We, can't uh, we need to pass down. through this from above. path, otherwise we if can't load enemies on this area, we'll and it's quite important. Now we need to skip a lot of dialogue, <laughs> and in the meantime, kill some I don't know. enemies. Sorry for that. They just talk too much sometimes. So it's uh, some sort of defense level we need to destroy all enemies that are spawning from this this portals. And there is one additional spawn that doesn't have portal, which is weird. So there are four possible spawn positions and there are two types of enemies uh, visible and invisible invisible guys are snipers uh, but they have a very very transparent um, kind of glow so if you have good eyes you can actually see where they are but not at a big distance and I really hate this level because it's some sort of RNG, the number of spawns is always the same, but they are spawning at different times, at different locations, so you need some serious skill to find everyone, especially invisible guys, which can take additional minute for example. But if we kill everyone before uh, the sound loop begins, it's gonna be good. Like now, for example, I don't know where they are. But we have some enemy crosshair targeting, so it's glowing red if I'm aiming. Okay, where are you? We need to get a sequence line. That we need an achievement for this, something like that. It means that there are less than 10 enemies left on the battlefield. Okay, I'm blind. Where are you? Hello? Shoot! Yeah! Okay, so they are spawning now oh, this portal. I think they will move here. No? Mm. Uh, some enemies here. Yeah, it's very painful to to search for snipers. It would be much easier if they really try to kill me instead of just running through them up, right? So I can... Okay, we got a sequence line, it's good. So there are not many enemies left. We just need to find them. There are some here, which is good. Pretty Gucci. And there's two enemies here. Nice. Mr. Sniper, I think you are here. And maybe here. Maybe I'm blind. But I saw someone here. Yeah! Yeah! Perfect. Freaking perfect. Whew. 
So, three levels left. Oh, nice. Planet Fire Ascension. So this level is incredibly difficult to play on casual level. It takes like two hours, I don't know, maybe less to complete it, but we can just skip everything by doing some sticky bombs here, bomb, and we skip everything. We just need to destroy all of them. <laughs> Oops. Let's try again. This is Ross Baker. Head for the sky platform. I've taken back the spawn points, but they, they won't hold forever. Speaker, I know that name. No. Okay. I will switch the weapon to the missile launcher. Right I need to find the, the key. Devil. Maybe two? No? Four? Ah! Five? No. Six? Uh, seven? Seven! So, there are some possible spawn locations where the aircraft can spawn. And I hear someone... What? Maybe he was under the building. Nice. That was quite fast! What? Only one? Most of the time I need three missiles to kill him. Maybe it's some sort of RNG, I don't know. There are a lot of stuff to discover. The game is quite fresh in okay. speedrunning community. I joined like two, maybe three months ago. So, if you are some, on some sort of interest to try it, feel free. It's very easy and we can just put some more records to the video boards. You know, now that your life is in my hands, it might be a good time to ask just what the hell is going on around here. So this level is some sort of epilogue. Why are they erasing game worlds? We are going to last glitch level, which is the highest. But of course we will skip most of them. And at the end there is a boss. Ah, it's not that difficult to kill him. A lot has changed. Memento Mori has meant that DCs have rights. Nobody wants a near dead granny's Hello? digital self living out in a eternity of combat scenarios. But the first experimental scans on that server in Stirling predate the rights legislation. Oh yeah, and we the can die in this level, yeah. They extract the DCs. You can't it's very hard. A bunch of files on a screen. But there is an achievement you can get That's for collecting 3,500 points, which is insanely difficult because you can't die and you need to destroy almost everything. Because I think the max possible number of points you can get is around 3,650, maybe. So why am I so late to the party? So I spent a lot of attempts to get this achievement. I know that for you this hasn't happened yet, but I remember you telling me you used to be a pretty good gamer. I thought having you on side might improve the odds. <laughs> Looks like I was right. We're getting close now. Wait a sec. Just to recap. The just to recap. Us, just the two of us are heading for a massively fortified enemy base to take on an entire army of ludicrously tooled up bampots. Yep. Doesn't that sound like a classic FPS? No, it sounds like suicide. Ah, it's not. See, I packed for this trip. You've heard of the originals, right? The first scans had certain abilities that were disabled in subsequent builds, but... When Where I are the myself, towers? I... I a few protocols. You're telling me you've got superpowers? Better than that, I'm telling you I've got admin privileges. With your help, you can kick all the fun ruining wankers off this server. So what's the plan? How do we play this thing? Um, okay. Well, the most important thing you need Bedlam to know stuck is... for a moment. <laughs> Perfect. Last level in the game. It's called Citadel. And... As I said, it's quite high. So we will skip by going around here and stick some around 30 bombs. Okay, let's see. Save, bomb. And not that bad. 
Let's land here. And let's do some more boosting. Yeah, if you will play this game casually, uh, in this level you will get infinite ammo. Due to this phrase with admin privileges. Because Bedlam will give us uh, admin comments like God Mode and stuff. Because the game has a fake console, which has only one comment. <laughs> Don't ask why, but there is some. It's a boss, but we need to find a ramp to actually load the script. And I think it's this one. Okay. Yeah. I bypassed the last fail safe. The core is exposed, so let's blow this thing in. So we need to yeah. go to this white orb, put some stickies. Something. And we can't uh, shoot now, we can destroy the bombs. We need to reach jump pads because then power the core is vulnerable and bomb. Done. And now we need to land on the portal. Once I get hold of you, uh, I'm going to put you into uh, a torture simulator prepare for the timer. enhanced interrogation techniques. I need to land. Name a new pain in Jordan scale I need to you. land. Maybe one day, you know. <laughs> Done. Going. You had a 35-35. Not bad. So thank you very you much. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, it was quite a run, right? I think everyone enjoyed it. Yeah, the music is great at the end. But I think Milk will cut me in a few seconds. How long is the end? I don't know, two minutes? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your run, lad. You got any last words? Yeah, and thank you for hosting a great event. I really enjoyed it.